We've had countries, um, European countries, and also countries in CARICOM who attend our course. We have um, Trinidad, Jamaica, and some of the other smaller islands. They traditionally come to, they send their students here in Belize to do training. We have members from the Dutch, uh, Norwegians, uh, the French Guyanese, um, even Guyanese come in to do training here in Belize. We've also had um, U.S. forces who come in to do um, jungle training here. In the past, we've also had Mexicans and even um, Canadians. And at one point, we had uh, two Guatemalan officers, I believe, who came in to do a jungle warfare instructor course in Belize. With it being expanded to a more international arena, it brings revenue to the economy and for the, for the country. Uh, when we provide a specific training package for a large number of troops, for example, for the Germans, um, they would pay to have those troops um, trained here. That money would go to the government, and that money can be used to assist the BDF again, um, go back to the BDF to buy the necessary resources and, and equipment. This can be a very good income earner um, for the government and for the BDF in that we can gain revenue from training foreign forces here, and not just the direct cash that they give, it also brings revenue to when they have to come and rent vehicles, um, pay for hotels, um, buy food and contribute directly to the to the local to the local place around the, the, the village here and also in Belize City and other districts. So it's also a sort of uh, military tourism as well uh, for the BDF in that we get a lot of foreign militaries who come into Belize, they do training here, they get to see parts of the country and it serves as a sort of a tourism package as well that they they get to like the country and when they eventually want to have a vacation or so they come back to Belize not just for jungle training but to spend their vacation